Hey, this is Troy Taylor with the Championship Football Coaches Clinic Podcast, sponsored by Reps Virtual Reality, First Down Playbook, Rack Coach, Tip of the Spear, The Top Hopper, and Sports work Workbook. We are back tonight, okay, and I have an apology to make. I have offended people over coaches wearing book bags and rubber bracelets and even a few referees that got ran or ran coaches over on the sidelines. I apologize. I did not mean to offend anyone. I was just trying to answer specific questions from coaches. And tonight we have a specific question coming from Facebook. All right, here's the, here's the question. Hey coach, I'm trying to learn O-line. This is probably a elementary question, but I see it's pretty much universal that the right side of the line has the right hand down and the left side has left hand in the dirt. Why is that? What's the advantage? Okay, the best offensive line coach that I've ever been around, Matt Bland. At L.C. Bird, probably rushed for more yards than anybody in the world running ISO every play. He didn't care which hand the kid put down. Now, the reason people care which hand you put down is if you're on the right side of the line, when you put your right hand down, then your stagger is going to be with your left foot up and your right foot back. So when the tackle lines up, the tackle needs to make sure his inside foot, which is usually the left foot if you're the right tackle, is even with the inside foot of the guard. You don't want him to line up with his left foot on the outside foot of the guard because he might be too far in the backfield. All right, so that's the reason that guys on the right side when they use a three-point stance, which probably will be one day probably obsolete. I mean, they used to put wide receivers in three-point stances. I mean, this was back when Michael Irvin played at the Miami Hurricanes. Now, the left side of the line is a little bit more difficult. When you're on the left side of the line, sometimes guys can't get in a left-hand stance. So some coaches teach and put their right hand down. So you're not going to stagger if you put your right hand down. You're not going to put your right foot back a lot because, you know, they used to call that your post foot. You probably would have your hand, your feet even. But most people on the left side put their left hand down. They move the left foot back a little bit in their stance. So they have a stagger. Now, if you're playing left tackle, your inside foot needs to be lined up on the inside foot of the offensive guard. So you're not too far in the backfield because your helmet has got to break the center's belt. That's the rule. Um, so I hope that answers. The reason they put their right hand down on the right side is because the, the right foot's back. The left foot is up in the stagger. And then on the left side, they put their left hand down because the right foot is up in the stagger. And that matters in pass protection. You know, because you, you want to keep your post foot up. You know, some people don't even teach keeping the post foot up anymore in pass protection. So that's another answer for another time. But I apologize for anybody that I offended. Um, tomorrow, we'll have Coach Tony Dozier from UNLV coming on, talking about the mindful coach. So I have a lot of questions for Coach. I hope he can help me to be more mindful. So thank you for tuning in. Y'all the best. I love you.